the average annual energy balance of the Earth in the equilibrium state establishes the stability of climate. The average annual energy balance of the Earth is defined by the difference between the incoming total solar irradiation and the reflected portion of TSI outgoing from the outer layers of the atmosphere into space and long wave radiation <coughs> into space. Oh. Sorry. In long wave radiation of the Earth by equation. Quasi bicentennial cycle coverage of the TSI absorbed by the Earth remains uncompensated by the energy emission into space over the time interval, uh, which is controlled by the thermal inertia of the ocean. That is why the debit and credit part of the average annual energy balance of the Earth always deviate from the equilibrium, which is the basic state um, of the climatic system. My definition of the little ice age with quasi bicentennial cycle differs from and often mentioned in the literature long period of global cooling in the 14th, 19th centuries, which was interrupted by several quasi bicentennial cycles of warming. Deep cooling associated with Wolf, Spure, Mound, and Dalton, Grand Minima can't be regarded as a single little ice age. At the same time, more long-term variation of the average annual TSI entering the Earth's upper atmosphere due to astronomical Milankovitch cycles, together with the subsequent non-linear feedback effect, lead to the big glacial period. According to the to the ice core dated real near Vostok site and Arctica, the peaks, of, the peaks of the carbon dioxide concentration have never preceded the warming, but on the contrary always took place 800 years after them, being their consequences. Since according to Henry Lowe, the warm liquid absorbed by less gas and hence more carbon dioxide remains in the atmosphere. There is no evidence that carbon dioxide is a major factor in the warming. Considerable changes of the content of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are always going by the corresponding temperature fluctuation of the ocean, the amount of natural flows of water vapor and carbon dioxide from the ocean and land to the atmosphere and from the atmosphere to the ocean and land exceeds many times the astro uh, anthropogenic discharges of these substances into the atmosphere. I am omitting it. Omitting also, omitting two. The sun is provides the larger TCI at the maximum of solar activity. All 18 periods of significant climate changes found during the last 700, 500, uh, 
1,500 years weren't really caused by the corresponding quasi-biasing variations of TSI, together with the subsequent feedback effect, which always control and totally determine cyclic mechanism of climatic changes from global warming to little ice ages. The, the direct imp impact of the TSI variation on the climate changes is always additionally with some t time lag enhanced due to the secondary feedback effect. The bond LBD increase up to the highest level during a deep cooling and decreases to the minimum during a warming, while the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere varies inversely since the variations are mostly defined by the temperature of the ocean. The, the significant climatic variation during the at least the past 800,000 years indicate that quasi bicentral and uh, 100,000 year cycle variation of the TSI entering the Earth's atmosphere are the main fundamental cause of corresponding alternations of climate variations from global warming to the Little Ice Ages and big glacial periods. The quasi bicentral variation of TSI sets the time scale of practically all physical processes taking place in the Sun Earth system and are the key to understanding cyclic changes in both the nature and the society. Since 1990, the Sun is the quasi bicentral phase of decline. And we have been observing a decrease in both uh, 11 year and quasi bicentennial the component of the TSI as a portion of its energy absorbed by the Earth. The 11 year component of TSI in the current cycle has uh, decreased by almost 0.7 watt square meter with respect to cycle 23. The average cyclical values of the TSI were also lower by uh, 0.15 watt square meter in 23 cycle in the 22nd cycle. Observe decrease of the TSI portion absorbed uh, by the Earth since 1990. 1990 has not been compensated by decrease of its average annual energy emitted into space, which practically remains of the same high level during 20 years due to thermal energy of the ocean. The Earth will continue to have a negative energy balance in the future cycles 25-28 because the sun is moving to the <coughs> Grand minimum. This will lead to the beginning of the epoch of the new little ice age after the maximum phase of the solar cycle 24, approximately since the second half of 2014. It is current cycle. It is current cycle uh, 24. Beginning of the new little ice age epoch after the maximum phase of solar cycle 24. The subsequent increase of the bond albedo and decrease in the con content of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere due to cooling will lead in 
to an additional re uh, reduction of the absorbed portion of solar energy and reduce the influence of the greenhouse effect. The start of the grand minimum of TSI is anticipated approximately in cycle 27 in 2043 and the beginning of the phase of deep cooling of the 90s uh, little ice age in the past 7,500 years, approximately in 2060, with possible duration of 45, 65 years. There is no global warming for more than 70 years in the result of the TSI fall since 1990. 1990. What we, we are seeing now in the solar cycle 24 and the quasi bicentered cycle had been predicted by me in 2003, 2007, long before the cycle 24 began. These forecasts have been confirmed by the sun itself and by stabilization of both the temperature and the ocean level for the past 17 years which as a result of TSI fall since 1990 and a sign of the upcoming beginning grand minimum of TSI approximately in 2043. The prognosis of natural climate changes for the next 100 years, even if insignificant long term variations may have serious consequences for the climate of the Earth and as a planet of the solar system, warming on the Mars and other planets was observed in the 20th century, practically simultaneously, that indicated the season of solar summer and alternation of climate conditions throughout the solar system. <coughs> the analogy with the season of the Earth there is also a similar alternation of climatic conditions in the solar system, dictated by the quasi bicentennial cycle variation of TSI. From this point of view, after the maximum phase of solar cycle 24, after the season of solar summer in our solar system as a whole, we expect a season of solar autumn, and then approximately in 2060, the season of solar winter of the quasi bicentennial solar cycle. Geologists call past warm epochs, optimum times, and cold times, dark ages. Yet government across the world uh, are preparing only for warming. The frozen temps, uh, 1683, Sixteen eighty four. It it is. Uh, I am omitting it. Excuse me. The sun is the main factor controlling the climatic system, and it is more powerful than abilities of human beings. The climate changes are beyond human control and are practically not connected with his activities. The most reasonable way, be, way to fly against the coming little ice age is to work out a complex of special steps aimed at the support of economic growth and energy saving production in order to adapt mankind uh, to forthcoming period of deep cooling, which will last approximately until the be beginning of the 22nd century. We have developed uh, the special space project monitoring of deviation of <coughs> deviation versus average general energy balance from the equilibrium state by monitoring of the reflected portion of TCR 
PSI. I would go from the outer layers of the atmosphere into space and of long-way radiation of the Earth. Thank you very much.